Hey guys, welcome to Hobie Outdoor Adventures. We're here at Fellsmere Reservoir in Florida. I'm fishing with Bree, one of our Hobie fishing team members. She's local to this area. You do a little bit of bass fishing, some saltwater fishing, and uh, I'm counting on you to put us on the fish today. <laughs> so no pressure. I'll do my best. <laughs> And then we also have Doug Olander from Sport Fishing Magazine, a good buddy of ours. He fishes here pretty often on his Hobie Pro Angler. So he'll be out there too. And I think between the three of us, we should be able to find some fish. So let's go have some fun. I was one of the first ones in the water to launch. It was really neat. There was a little gator that came up next to us. And uh, so it was me and Doug. And he knew where we were gonna go, so he, he just started to go. He's like, oh, Morgan, he, he pedals fast. He'll be able to, to catch up to us, so I'm like, okay. And before I knew it, I looked down and Doug and Bree were just gone. They're on a mission, they must know something. First, oh, it's a nice one, dude. Holy smokes, it's a nice fish. First fish of the day. Oh my, that's not a bass. That's a freaking tilapia, dude. Holy moly. Hang on, buddy. I know, I'm sorry, I hooked you on top of the head. That's the biggest freaking tilapia I've ever seen. Beautiful fish. I'll take it, good way to start the morning. Off you go, buddy. Trying to eat my swim bait, what does he think he is, a bass? It was beautiful. It, there's palm trees coming out of the water. It, it just looked like this prehistoric site and the wind was really calm. The water was like glass. I was just super excited. I'm like, this is a beautiful place. I mean, any day in the water is just going to be an amazing day. Felsmere Reservoir is super unique. It's a no motor zone, so you can only fish it from a kayak or a stand-up paddleboard or something like that. So it's pretty cool. It keeps a lot of people off of this waterway. It allows the fish to get really big in this lake. And it also means that there's not a lot of pressure on these fish. So they're more willing to hit artificials and stuff like that. Nice little chunker. I'll take him. I primarily fish off of a paddleboard. And this past year, I had a friend who invited me to go offshore kayak fishing because the tuna were running. And I just thought it was incredible that you could catch a pelagic fish from a kayak. So uh, I went along and caught tuna and I was absolutely hooked. I just thought it was the coolest thing to be offshore in this little kayak and get these big fish. So that's what I've been doing. Bree and I are both fishing out of the Hobie Mirage Outback. And they're perfect vessels for this waterway because they're fast, nimble, they're still stable enough to stand up on. They have room for plenty of gear, but they also paddle very well. So uh, we have power pole micros set up on them. Those will come in handy when we're trying to stake out and hold position uh, if the wind comes up or if we're on a, a, an area with a lot of good fish in it. As I pedaled along the canals, I was trying a lot of stuff. I tried ribbit frogs, weedless swim baits. I learned that most of the bass were small and they were feeding on very small bait fish. And once I kind of got that figured out, I switched to a chatterbait and I started casting into some of the deeper pockets and, and I caught a few fish. I even caught some kind of weird fish that I thought was a snakehead. I was not expecting that, I thought it was a nice bass. Inhaled that chatterbait. Wow, I never even knew these were in here. Hey. I know I called it a snakehead and it looked like a snakehead to me, but it's some kind of mud minna or bowfin or something. I don't know what it's called. Who cares? It's an awesome fish. I had to fish my way along the canal. And so it took me about two hours to actually catch up to him. And I didn't really catch anything decent. I tried though. You just never know, you gotta fish. Big fish, holy smokes. Please stay on, please stay on. Don't go away. Hobie Outdoor Adventures will be right back on Fellsmere Reservoir, the kayak fishing heaven of Florida. Ugh, I can't reach it. Welcome back to Hobie Outdoor Adventures. 
Fellsmere Reservoir is a 10,000-acre parcel of land purchased by the St. Johns River Water Management District as part of the restoration of the Upper St. Johns River ecosystem. The land was converted into a reservoir to provide a high-quality fishery, an increased measure of flood control, a water supply for the town of Fellsmere, and as a source of irrigation for the surrounding agricultural areas. The Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission has invested heavily in the design and construction of fish habitat, and with a stocking of over a million largemouth bass and other native fish, Fellsmere Reservoir has become one of the world-class fisheries in Florida. After a while of being there, just fishing those toolies, Morgan shows up and we're like, okay, he found us. <laughs> And uh, he started fishing in the same area, and uh, he hooked up too, pretty fast after. This is interesting. There's this hydrilla, and then uh, some sandbars in here. And so I'm just looking for the sandbars and working the edges of them. Little drop-offs, that chatterbait. I had a 3.8 Kitek on there. Nice little chunker right at the boat. Bree and I fish a little bit differently. Bree likes to use spinning reels. I like to use bait casting reels for bass, but we have one thing in common. We both love St. Croix rods and we both use them a lot. So we'll be putting that scenario to the test. You know, she'll be able to be getting a little bit more distance on her casts and I might be able to put a little bit more leverage on the fish once I hook up. You know, that area where that twig was, I just have a feeling that it's it's holding more fish because there was a really nice long sandbar there with a lot of hydrilla on it. On about my fourth or fifth cast, I feel a heavy thump. Big fish, holy smokes. Oh my God, that's a huge fish. Please stay on, please stay on. Dude, this one's even bigger. Oh no, dude, I don't know what to do here. I'm about to jump in the freaking water. Get this thing, it's still hooked up. Oh, why is this happening? Holy smokes, it's huge. Oh, come on. I can't reach it. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's why you bring a net. Yeah, look at that fish. It's huge. Oh my gosh. Oh, I didn't think, I, oh my, that was way too close for comfort. Oh, dude. Oh, oh, what? <laughs> that's the biggest bass of my life. Look at that. Whoa! My goodness! Oh, chatterbait right in the side of the mouth. I had no idea how big this fish was until I got up next to him. And when I saw the belly on that thing, it was just huge. And he pulls it up, you know, it's taking up most of his body, and I don't think I've ever seen a bass that size. Kudos, that was amazing. I never used a chatterbait in my life until today and I got a big bite and I cannot believe that I caught that fish. I didn't deserve to catch that fish. I've only caught one other fish that was double digit and it was in a very similar scenario where there was a lot of hydrilla involved and I actually had to hand line the fish up to get it. So when that fish started burying me in the hydrilla, my heart sunk and I immediately thought that I have a good chance of losing this thing. <laughs> yeah, Bree. All right. Sweet, that's a nice fish too. Whoa, I'd be stoked with that one any day. I am stoked. Do you that's, think? A, that's like a legendary fish it'd right be, there. It'd be really funny if this is the female and that's the male. Wow, that's awesome. This is a fish of a lifetime, oh my gosh. Wow, good work chatterbait. That's a gorgeous fish. Giant mouth, I can stick my whole fist in there. <laughs> oh. Okay, honey, let's get you on your way. Thank you so much for making my day. Look at that fish. 
one more time. Okay, big girl, bye-bye. After he caught that, the spark of hope just came into my heart. I'm like, there's bass this big in here. I, I, I have to find one. At this point, I just really want for you to catch a big one. And so we fish hard. You know, a new body of water is always tough, but we know there's big fish in here, and I know Bree has a chance of catching a big one. You ready for this? Yeah! Oh, <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> what? Yeah! Hobie Outdoor Adventures will be right back. Welcome back to Hobie Outdoor Adventures. We're fishing on the Fellsmere Reservoir, just outside of Vero Beach, Florida. It's a new 10,000 acre impoundment on the east side of the famous and legendary Stick Marsh. After I caught that beautiful, magnificent fish, Bree and I got together and we started putting the hurt to him on the chatterbaits, one after the other. It was really, really fun. Why don't you come down this way? Oh. Okay, I'll be Another right nice there. one. They're, they're all piled up in these weeds. The chatterbait is on fire. This one feels so light. Nice one. Okay. Come on, Parapole, get down there. Morgan's custom lures, they work. Bye, buddy. Felt a lot heavier because of the grass. Come here. Ah! Little guy, but catches the big ones, too. That bait is so big for that little fish. <laughs> so Bree and I were on the fish and I'm looking around for Doug and I can't see him. He's doing his own thing. But you know what? As kayak anglers, that's in our nature. That's why we get on our watercraft. We're our own captain. We go and we explore. It's an adventure. And uh, I wish Doug was with us though when we found those fish, but who knows? Maybe he was catching them somewhere else. Okay, Bree, I guess you finally found your power pole micro remote. Yes. I'm going to change your life right now. It's going to come, right. <laughs> come in handy for this kind of fishing. So just double click down, and you'll notice your anchor goes down. Okay. It'll stake out in the mud. So just double click. Double click, and then when you want it to come up, just double click up, and that's it. Wow. Okay. Oh, that's so easy. That's way easier than anchoring. We had drifted into a completely new area and we met up again and I said, hey Bree, what do you think about going back to that zone? You know, what are your thoughts on that? And she said, Morgan, I have a feeling that there are more big fish in there. And I said, well, so do I. So we decided to do that. We made our turn and started pedaling and we got back to the spot. So I just kind of drifted to this one single patch and, you know, all of a sudden, I just get whacked. Bree is quiet, you know? She's just doing her own thing. She's used to catching fish. She's not like me where you start screaming like a baby when you're hooked up to a massive fish. She's just mellow. She's like, hey guys, I think I got one here and I think it's pretty big. It's got me buried up in the grass. But before I could even get to her, she had managed to use that St. Croix and spinning reel setup to work that fish out of the grass. You ready for this? Yeah! <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> what? Yeah! Yeah, Bree! Are you kidding me? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my That's gosh! That's insane! Oh my gosh! He was so hung up! Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> That's insane. Oh, it's a good one. Was that on a chatterbait? Yeah. Oh my oh goodness. Gosh. That is a hog. <laughs> yeah. Gosh. Wow. Good job. Yeah. I'm coming to high five you All in right. just a second. Let me turn around. Oh. 
So we came back in here over the hydrilla. It was worth it, totally worth it. Yeah. Yeah. There's big ones in here. There are some massive ones. And it's like, it's in the same spot pretty much. It's just down there. Thought I was gonna lose them though. Boom, on a spinning <laughs> reel too. On a spinning reel. Okay, so that Woo! proves it to me. You can pull <laughs> darn hard on a spinning reel. Yes. Put his head in the water. Yeah, and hang I'm gonna on get to him. him. Let, her, let her get some air. Yeah. And then, uh, beautiful fish. Let's try to catch one more before it's dark. Congratulations. Thank you. It's epic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, Bree, that's a nice fish, but it's not quite as big as mine. Oh, <laughs> I think you're right, though. <laughs> oh, man. No, I'm just kidding. That's insane. That's a fish of a lifetime right there, too. It's another hog, an absolute monster, unbelievable. Two of the biggest bass I've ever seen in my life in one day out here on a waterway. We've both never fished chatterbaits in our life. We've both never fished Felsmere in our life. And here we are, both with the biggest bass of our lives on the same day. Morgan and Bree will have a small window tomorrow to fish on Felsmere Reservoir. They won't have enough time to get to that good spot today, so they need to adjust their game plan by fishing closer to the launch. Stay tuned. Hobie Outdoor Adventures will be right back. Welcome back to Hobie Outdoor Adventures. Well, it's day two on Fellsmere Reservoir, Florida. Morgan and Bree launched their Hobie Outbacks a little bit earlier than yesterday, since they have a shorter day to fish. One of my favorite parts about the new Outback is just the tool management, you know? I got my pliers and little cutters and scissors and stuff like that. There's plenty of room to throw all kinds of stuff and they're right there where you need them. You know, we've got our equipment rigged a little bit better, worked out the kinks, and it's gonna be a good day. Sunrise is absolutely gorgeous. The birds are out. There's all kinds of activity going on. The weather's beautiful, and Bree and I are excited to get out on the water this morning and have another chance at a giant. There you go. Our strategy for today is we only have a small window of opportunity to fish. So we're not going far. We're gonna go out and we're going to try to find areas that are similar to where we caught fish the day before. Got this guy on the chatterbait. I caught a smaller one right before it, but um, we went through a bunch of hydrilla. Uh, I think I had my pedals out most of the time and was just paddling through and went back through this area here and it was really rough with the hydrilla. Oh. First fish of the day for me. Jump for me one more time. Come here, buddy. <sighs> Nice, a chatterbait got him perfectly in the top of the, top of the mouth there. Jump in the boat, almost. You're so close. Is that three bites and three casts? Yeah, that's about I think. I'm gonna steal your spot. No. <laughs> Bigger than the other one. Yeah, buddy. You done yet? We didn't have much time left, but we managed to catch a few nice ones, some cute ones too, but at least another five fish a piece. And that was a really nice way to end off the day. It was absolutely gorgeous out. Perfect day for fishing. Felsmere, who knew? I'm not that far away. I'll definitely be back. The flight out to Florida was completely worth it. Felsmere Reservoir was a huge success. Bree and I both caught our biggest fish of our life on chatterbaits, which we had never used before. And the environment with the birds and just being out on the water was incredible. I can't wait to get back here. Hey, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next week on a new episode of Hobie Outdoor Adventures. But if you're not sure on how to use it, God, I thought it was that freaking gator, dude. Frickin' little baby fish.
scaring me. 